Who doesn't adore Mark Harmon, the star of NCIS? Despite his somewhat well-known appearance on television, he prefers to stay out of the spotlight of Hollywood gossip. While his acting career spans decades, the man has remained quite low-key. Here are a few interesting things about Harmon that might surprise you. First up, a family of stars. Harmon is without a doubt one of the most hard-working people in all of television history. Apart from being an executive producer on NCIS and NCIS New Orleans, in addition to his role on the show, he's also currently a producer on a brand new CBS show. Where does he get it from? Harmon has put in a lot of effort and has a lot of talent, but he's had a lot of support along the way. Harmon comes from a long line of entertainers in his family. His father was a well-known sportscaster and an All-American football player who was drafted into the NFL. Tom Harmon, Harmon's father, was a football player at the University of Michigan who won the Heisman Trophy in 1940 and was drafted into the NFL the following year. Kristen, Mark's younger sister, married Rick Nelson, an early rock singer and star of the 1950s sitcom Ozzie and Harriet. Tracy Nelson, Mark Harmon's niece, is an actress, and his nephews Matthew and Gunner are members of the Nelson Metal Band. Kelly Harmon, Harmon's other sibling, rose to prominence as a spokeswoman for the candy brand Tic Tacs. When Mark Harmon married Pam Dauber in 1987, he added even more prominence to the Harmon family name, as Pam was already a seasoned actress. Before retiring to raise her family, Dauber appeared in the classic sitcom Mork and Mindy. Next, acting wasn't his first choice. Despite growing up in a household of artists, Harmon's first career decision was not acting. In fact, Mark Harmon worked as a carpenter and a national sales representative for a shoe company, before deciding to pursue a career in the entertainment sector. He only became an actor after failing at a number of other endeavors. Harmon tried his hand as a shoe salesperson after failing to find work in that trade. He was even hired as a sales representative for a prominent company which involved a great deal of travel. Harmon discovered that being a traveling shoe salesman was not something he wanted to do, and he retired during one of his road trips. Harmon gave his two weeks notice after speaking with a co-worker who was completely miserable at his job. Little did he know that he would go on to become a successful actor, although he struggled a lot in the beginning of his career in the entertainment industry. His first television appearance was in a commercial for Kellogg's product 19 Cereal, in which he appeared with his father who was the cereal's longtime TV ambassador. He was also the face of Coors Beer before he became renowned as Gibbs on NCIS. During the early 1980s, he appeared in over 20 beer advertisements. Next, rough start in acting. Harmon was frequently cast as the lead in television projects when he first started out, but many of his shows did not make it through the first season. Harmon's big break came on NBC's medical drama Saint Elsewhere, where he played Dr. Robert Caldwell. While Mark Harmon received a lot of press for the role, he also had a number of failed projects, including Emergency, Reasonable Doubts, Charlie Grace, and Sam. Harmon briefly entered the film industry after his TV career struggled to take off. But soon enough, he realized that the higher salary wasn't worth missing out on valuable family time, after one of his films had him away from home for months at a time. How sweet is that? Harmon's second Emmy nomination came from a modest appearance on The West Wing, which drew the notice of Jag's producer. Following a cameo appearance on that TV show, a spin-off was created, which was NCIS. The rest is history. Next, almost a football star. Following in his father's footsteps, Mark Harmon was almost a star football player before breaking into the acting business. Harmon was a great quarterback for UCLA for several years, leading the Bruins to two winning seasons. His play drew the attention of NFL scouts, but he ultimately declined the opportunity to continue his education. Harmon received a communications degree, which he put to good use in Hollywood. Next up, a real-life hero. When two teenagers were involved in a tragic car accident right outside his home, Mark Harmon saved their lives from a flaming vehicle. In the year 1996, he put his life on the line to save the two youngsters from a burning car by smashing the window of their car with a sledgehammer from his garage. He shattered a window and dragged them out and smothered the flames by jumping on top of him. The kids were severely burned, but thanks to our real-life hero Mark, he was able to recover completely. And he's devoted to his family. Harmon is a loving husband to Pan Dauber and a doting father to his two sons, Dean and Ty, in addition to being an excellent actor. Harmon's character on NCIS may have been divorced from his on-screen wife, but in real life he's been married to his wife Dauber since 1987. In the mid-80s, their fairy tale romance began when the friend introduced the two. While little is known about their dating lives at the time, we do know that they married on March 21, 1987 
1987 at a school chapel in California. His wife Pam also appeared on NCIS alongside him as a guest star on a four-episode arc in season 18. Next, Sexiest Man Alive Harmon's remarkable good features and charisma earned him the title of Sexiest Man Alive in People Magazine's second annual edition in 1986, just after the initial winner, Mel Gibson. In an interview, he recalled having found out after a basketball game with his friends. The newsstands all over the place had his face plastered on, much to the amusement of his buddies. But that's not all. Mark Harmon has been a top favorite throughout his time in the industry. In 2011, Harmon was voted the fourth most popular actor on primetime television. Since then, he has remained one of the most popular TV actors. Did you know he is also known to wear clothes sent to him by his loving fans? In an interview, he revealed that not only does he wear the clothes sent by fans, he actually keeps them safe with him too. Next, fitness and injuries. Many fans have spotted Harmon's limp on camera and wonder if it's real or scripted. Truth is, he has an abducted left knee from his football career, as well as two fractured shoulders, one while filming summer school and the other while filming a Coors beer commercial. In a spring football camp at UCLA in 1973, he shattered his clavicle. Ouch. Despite it all, Mark keeps his fitness levels up even in his 70s. He has loved running since his teenage days when he reportedly used to run 45 miles per week, increasing to 60 to 70 miles per week after graduating from college. His father got him into the habit of getting up incredibly early throughout his life, so he could run for at least an hour before starting work. These days, Mark Harmon claims that Pilates is what's keeping him in shape. He credits his shoulder injury for introducing him to this type of exercise, which he has maintained. And then we have lifestyle. Mark Harmon has a net worth of roughly $100 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. He has risen to become one of television's highest paid actors, along with which he received producer credits and syndication fees for each episode of NCIS in addition to his performing credits. But sources suggest that Harmon is a penny pincher, and his lifestyle does not reflect the amount of money he has. When asked about his lifestyle, Harmon said that he's content with his low-key life in Los Angeles with wife Pam Dauber. Mark may be worth well over $100 million, but he's never been a huge spender, says the insider who adds that he prefers to do his own housework rather than hire a handyman. In the afternoons, Mark does carpentry, works on his cars, or cooks with Pam. Those are the moments he treasures. What a wholesome way to spend your retirement. And carrying the legacy. Sean, Harmon's oldest son, followed in his father's footsteps and became an actor. In a flashback episode of NCIS, he played the younger version of his father's character, Gibbs. Like his super talented father, Sean's abilities are so diverse that calling him a jack-of-all-trades would be an understatement. He's also a stunt double in addition to performing, writing, directing, and producing. In fact, he has performed more stunts than he has done anything else. So, the quest for an adrenaline rush runs in the family, eh? Sean has never been the type of person who's fascinated with being in the spotlight, despite having a famous father. This is most likely something he picked up from his parents, who are both extremely private. Sean doesn't do many interviews, and he isn't extremely active on social media, but we assure you, he's one to watch. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Mark Harmon's interesting life on and off the screen? Which of these came as a surprise to you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.